In today's video, the nurses are going on strike. Hi and welcome back to Dad's channel. It's great to see you. I hope you're keeping really well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what's happening with the potential nurses strike that's coming soon. Post office workers are already on strike. The train drivers are on strike. Everyone's going on strike. So what's going to happen? So let's focus on the nurses. Just a few short months ago, they were the clap every Thursday heroes of the pandemic. People were demanding that they should be paid more. So with the votes counted, it's looking like they're going to be on strike before the end of 2022, and this could last as long as May 2023. So what's been happening with nurses' pay in the recent years? Nurses in England and Wales on the Agenda for Change contracts were given a 14 under pay rise in the summer of 2022. In Scotland, the government initially put an offer of 5% forwards but this has actually been up to 8.45% for most nurses. The Royal College of Nursing has stated that this will still leave a lot of nurses 20% worse off than they were 10 years ago, and have asked for a 5% above inflation pay rise. Currently, inflation is running at around 11 or 12%, so we're looking at about 17%. Health and Social Care Secretary Steve Barclay doesn't seem so impressed. He stated, These are challenging times which is why we accepted the recommendations of the independent NHS pay review body in full and have given over 1 million NHS workers a pay rise of at least £1,400 this year. He went on to say, This is on top of a 3% pay increase last year when public sector pay was frozen. Were you a public sector worker last year when your pay was frozen? Perhaps you agree with the nurses getting that 3%, perhaps you don't. Let me know in the comments below. But let's hear what the Welsh Government have got to say. There are, however, limits to how far we can go to address these concerns in Wales without additional funding from the UK Government. Scotland, an offer has been turned down that would have meant for the lowest paid workers an 11% increase. So it's simply going to come down to a number, a percentage point. And the one that seems to be aimed at by the unions is 17%, as we already said. But that's still a pretty big ask. Another issue appearing on the horizon right now is that the cleaners, porters and ambulance drivers will be balloted for strike action as well. But let's just roll back a few months. Remember that the barristers were going to go on strike? They were asking for a 25% increase in their fees, but they settled for 15%. The current government debt is running at around 40 to 50 billion pounds. So where will the money come from exactly? It's easy for the general public to say that the nurses deserve a big pay rise, and I'm not disputing that. But where will the money actually be accounted? In a few days' time, the Chancellor Jeremy Hunt will be presenting his autumn budget, a couple of weeks late. This is looking to include spending cuts and tax increases to the tune of around £60 billion. With this in mind, and taxpayers already being hit by energy and food bill increases, where will the money for public sector pay increases come from? Will it be more debt just shoveled on top of the debt that we already have? Thanks for watching. It's a really interesting subject. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Please like the video and do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Check out the other content that we've put on the channel. And I will see you on the next video.